What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the Boxing Clinic. Um, you know, don't forget to click the description when you see news or rumors. Uh, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I got the link there to show you where my rumors and where my sources are coming from. Um, and also click the Facebook uh, link as well um, and like the page. And we do a lot of good work there. That actually been standing uh, longer than the YouTube page. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it is what it is. We do some good things over there as well. Uh, like I said, but we're talking about Keith Thurman. I mean, uh, I was watching 7 8 Sports, I believe it was, this morning. And, uh, you know, he inspired me to do this. Uh, I think he talked about Keith Thurman or something. He was talking about uh, Angel disrespecting Keith Thurman. When I, we talked about that about a couple uh, weeks ago, talking about uh, Danny Garcia said today uh, he broke uh, Thurman's arm. He injured him, and uh, Angel doubled down on that. And these, uh, you know, these press, these press uh, media and clip, clips they didn't had out in Philadelphia where Leonard Ellerby came and showed support because um, he's promoting the show for Danny and Brandon Rios. Um, it got me thinking. Is Keith, Keith Thurman is one of the most disrespected unified champions I can remember. You know, scratch that. Disrespected champions, you know. Um, I haven't seen the champion disrespected this much from different people in a long time. Even Jeff Horn didn't take this... Uh, much disrespect, you know, when he won the title, even though Teddy Atlas was the um, the leading, um, he was the leading, you know, spearhead source um, and a leader of the people saying that uh, Horn, Rod Pacquiao didn't deserve the victory. I mean, the level of disrespect Keith Thurman has, um, you know, you know, taken and absorbed, you know, over the last calendar year. <laughs> oh, man, I haven't remembered anybody being this disrespected, man. I mean... You know, on top of that, people felt that Jeff Horn got a gift decision. Even Jeff Horn came out and put Keith Thurman in his place. You know, he said something like, uh, you know, you know, you keep running your mouth. I'm going to shut it or something like that, you know. And when you got a guy that most people believe is a paper champion or or a guy that didn't deserve a championship uh, versus Manny Pacquiao, which I thought it was close enough for him to get the decision. I thought Pacquiao won, but I had no issue with Jeff Horn winning that fight. He did his thing. When you got a guy like that, that's on the bottom of the totem pole telling you, you keep running your mouth. I'm going to come and shut it. You know, <laughs> it's all bad, man. It's all bad. And, and, um, you know, you know, he's just disrespected. Now, some of this disrespect has been brought upon himself and his track record since, you know, um, getting, becoming a regular, becoming, you know, from, excuse me, since becoming a regular WBA champion, then upgraded to super, you know, he only had fought once, um, you know, in 16 and once in 17, and, and then he unified in 17, you know, with Danny Garcia, got the WBC champion uh, title belt. And, you know, it's been like, you know, you know, cheap side, you know, city for Keith Thurman, man. I mean, Bob Aaron even came out and said, you know what, man, Terrence Crawford to destroy Keith Thurman. Why is we talking about Terrence Crawford? I'm paraphrasing here. Why I'm talking about Terrence Crawford? You know what? You know, I'm not even interested in making that fight. Terrence, you know, Terrence will whoop him. You know, we want to go fight Earl Spence. You know, I want to see Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford fight. That's the big fight that we're looking at. Keith Thurman, we're not worried about Keith Thurman. Terrence Crawford will, will put it, will put paws on Keith Thurman and beat the crap out of Keith Thurman. Even Bob Arum is, is doubling down, seeing his guy Terrence Crawford will have a walk in the park with Keith Thurman. And Earl Spence is a tough fight and a big fight that he wants to see. And then you turn around and look at Barry Hunter, who subliminally called out Keith Thurman and Sean Porter. In an Earl Spence press conference saying that we tried to basically fight Keith Thurman when he was the regular champion. You know, he ain't want none. And we got to stop all this ducking and boxing. And when Barry Hunter speaks, he's kind of like the godfather of USA, uh, you know, boxing, you know, you know, so to speak, man. He he's a real, real dude, man. He does a lot of good things and, um, you know, charity work and in, uh, in, in D.C. And a lot of guys in the USA boxing system. Respect Barry Hunter. His 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 word is fatherly. You know what I'm saying. And he even took shots at Keith Thurman, and that's not even his his nature to really take shots in a, in a boxer, especially a U.S. boxer that came up through the amateur system. Barry's, you know, and he didn't disrespect him, but you know, for him to go out his way and kind of call you out, you know, secretly and say that you was ducking, that that says a lot. I um, mean, you had Jesse Vargas who's called him a coward and said, "How you a champion? You should be stripped." You ain't trying to fight the best and keep it moving. You a punk. And it seems like they was negotiating a fight, you know, really. And it just seemed like Keith Thurman just pulled out the fight. And I think Jesse Vargas thought they was close. He probably conceded some things in negotiations, you know. Oh, yeah, you know, he can get that. You know, let's make the fight. He can get a couple more dollars. I just want the fight. And Keith Thurman turned around and just caught it off and just, you know, punked out. And also Earl Spence, you know, somebody that's not even very vocal, you know, is now starting to talk and go against the grain and going against his word on being vocal 
and, and being, you know, and talking more and talking trash and calling out Keith Thurman. That's not even his style. He he says, you know, I, I'm not that. He said on the Breakfast Club, said, I don't want to be that. He said, I don't want to sell myself and, you know, sell, sell, sell myself. I don't want to let my hands do the talking. I want to be remembered for knocking people blocks off, you know, so to speak. And, and now he's even calling Keith Thurman out and coming out of character, calling him sometimes Thurman and, 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 and telling him to come on and, and all this stuff, and, and he he said, "Come, Keith Thurman, come cut this free smoke." And he's talking more and more, impressing Thurman. And Thurman is getting, you know, drug out. And, and honestly, Keith Thurman is one of those guys that's a macho, macho type of guy. You know, he might scream chaos for life at one time a couple of years ago, but he's a guy that 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 you know he's in his own comfort zone. He's he's an energy, you know, vibe type of guy. He I, I don't really think it's bothering him. You know, if you think you know this dude is like Floyd Mayweather. And um, all these little cheap shots is bothering him, and he wants to come out and prove a point and shut 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 stuff down. They ain't Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman, you know, gonna do what Keith Thurman do. You know, he gonna stay in this lane. He gonna stay in his comfort zone, and he don't worry about what other people say. And that's always a good um, attribute to have. You know, uh, that's me. You know, a lot of people say you this and that, but guess what? I'm gonna just ride my own wave and just do 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 my thing and just do what I do. I don't care what the outside world say. They don't dictate the way I'm I move in my life. And Keith Thurman is that guy. You could tell, you know, I'm going to just do me. You know, I'm in a shotgun. I'm in a position of power. I'm going to take my time because guess what? Keith Thurman don't take his time. You go out there and get his ass whooped. And then he, oh, I was still injured. Nobody going to have no sympathy for him. You feel me? So, yeah, he's very disrespected. You know, the, the biggest, you know, disrespected unified champion that I can remember. You know, um, you know, and, you know, when the, when the world turned, you know, on on a swivel, if he just went out there and beat the dog walking shit out of Earl Spence, you know, and, and it's not out of the question, you know what I'm saying? Um, Keith Thurman is a very talented fighter. A lot of people think, you know, because, you know, he seems to want that smoke with Earl Spence that he already didn't lost. Now, if he goes out there and knocks Earl Spence block, block off, like Mick is telling him like he rocky to knock out Apollo Creed, you know, if, you know, you know, a lot of people are going to be trying to ride that Keith Thurman surfboard board again. They're going to be trying to be on that Keith Thurman yacht. They're going to be trying to ride that one one time party. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even one of those people that just think that Keith Thurman doesn't have a chance versus Earl Spence. And I'm going on wax today, February the 2nd, you know, February the 12th, 2018. You know, write it down, mark it down. At the end of the day, it would not shock me one cent, you know, nothing. One penny, one peso, one iota, one jalapeno pepper, one soft taco from Qdoba, Del Taco, Wherever Taco Bell, it was it would not surprise me if Keith Thurman went out there and beat the crap out of Earl Spence and knocked him out of stopped him. It wouldn't surprise me, you know. Nothing surprises me in a sport. There's so many times where people insinuated the fighter was scared or didn't want smoke with a fighter, and that fighter went out there and beat him. You know, Keith Thurman. You know, a lot of people disrespected him, but people for you know people forgot what he's done, and with his fight coming up in, in May. It's not going to change anybody's opinion, you know, what he's done, you know, if he's fighting a guy outside the top, you know, top 10. Now, if he go out there and make a statement versus Sean Porter, you know, later this year, or Danny Garcia, somebody of that nature, and stop them and prove why it's one time, this is going to make the Earl Spence fight that much more interesting. And it is people that believe Keith Thurman is going to be Earl Spence. It's people out there that do, do believe that. But the consensus casual public and some of the hardcore public and some of the casual People, you know, casual public and some of the purest public believes Earl Spence is just going to walk through Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman reluctant to fight this guy. But like I said, Keith Thurman ain't that guy. He ain't that guy that's going to listen to y'all and y'all not going to dictate what he wants to do. And I can and I can I can respect and inspire to be a guy like Keith Thurman. Don't let people dictate your next move and kind of push you to one way, you know, one way or another. Your next move. Don't let people do that. You ride your way and you do what's best for you. And that's a lot of people go wrong in life at. You know, they let people hype them up. Let people talk to them. Oh, you can do this. You can do that. You know, oh, oh you need to do this. You need to do that. Keith Thurman, like, man, shut up. I'm going to take my time. I told you I'm going to fight Earl Spence next year. I'm going to be fighting two times this year. And he, he can do this. He can do this. He will shock the world if he beat the crap out of Terrence Crawford. You know, and one of the people that's kind of, um, you know, showing Keith Thurman some support is Terrence Crawford, you know. Even though he been talking, he been talking tough tone about Terrence Crawford. Like he ain't ready for this and that and that. And he been talking tough. Low key, one of the guys that supporting him is Terrence Crawford. Crawford believes that he can beat Earl Spence. Crawford is in Keith Thurman's corner to to still be that guy and be that guy over Earl Spence. And there's a lot of people out there that um that believe that. And contrary to a lot of people' belief, 
I like Earl Smith in this fight, but I'm not. I, it's not a, a a a stone cold you know pick. You know, it's not entrenched in, in the pick for me. If I see something different in Keith Thurman versus top fighter, and I see something okay, I like that. Whatever it is, and he get that mojo back and that aggressive nature back. <clears throat> you know, it was a point in time where I thought you know Earl Smith couldn't touch Keith Keith Thurman, but Earl Smith has gotten better. You know, he's done what he's supposed to do. <clears throat> but you know, a lot of people be eating crow. If Keith Thurman, you know, Ice Ice Baby, Earl Spence, and, and, and box Earl Spence, you know. Um, a lot of people be out here with excuses, you know, this and that. Oh, he waited Earl Spence out. Uh, oh, you know, t- Earl Spence fought three times last year. He more tired. Keith Thurman, he fought once or whatever it is. You know, there's going to be a lot of excuses, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it will shock a lot of people. It really wouldn't shock me if you beat him. I think these guys are, you know, up there on the same uh, level. And in the fight, it's up to somebody to pull away and sell, show that they're on another level. You know what I'm saying? But Crawford has been supporting Keith Thurman. There's some Keith Thurman supporters out there. I see y'all in the comment section. I see y'all on, on the book. I see y'all on Instagram, social media, Twitter. Yeah, he do got a, a good support system. And some people like me that, that thought that he would definitely, you know, wipe the wipe his butt with Earl Spence, you know, a couple years ago. Yeah, I'm favoring Earl Spence right now. But I've seen him lately. What have Keith Thurman done lately? You know, he hasn't done nothing. But... A, a couple good dominant performances makes this fight uh, back close to being a 50 fight, 50 fight in, in the public's uh, eyes. And um, it's just like that. He got a good performance. He go out there and knock out uh, Sean Porter and do something that hasn't been done before. A lot of people be back on that 50-50 train. Y'all know what it is.